you know, Claire, uh, I think it was Amy Jensen, I think's her name, um, uh, the, the, the middle um, woman in our group there. I found what she said, well, it depends on what the other side is doing, right? She, her vote for Biden was exactly the, the premise that Biden ran on, which is he knew there were people like her that would vote for him, maybe not vote for a more progressive Democrat, but would vote for him because of Trump. And that's what I think his Philadelphia speech was about. Yeah. I think it was all about trying to invite the Amy's of America right into the tent. Not that Amy, right? <laughs> not not that Amy. Right, right, the right. Amy that you interviewed yes. in Arizona. I think that's what it was about. Uh, um, but I will tell you, I do think the Democratic Party is struggling with an issue that is real. And that is that all of our leadership, and I'm saying this as somebody who's ancient, you know, a lot, of, a lot of old folks yeah. um, are running the Democratic Party now in every part of the Democratic Party. Uh, I think the Democratic Party will benefit from really doing some navel gazing about how can we get more young people to the forefront because young people are going to be really important to us in 2024. You know, ironically, Matt, if Republicans have a good election night, particularly on the House side, it's actually going to be because it does seem like House Republicans and Kevin McCarthy's campaign arm really went after a diverse set of candidates. They did a phenomenal job. Recruiting. Not like the Senate side. No, the House side is in a much better place. The House the side, side really did, went after it. I mean, I think a good story, a good candidate, worth about two points in the ballot. And look, we want to talk about fundraising. We had about 20 candidates back in 2020 raise a million dollars through July 2020. Uh, now we have over 90. Mm -hmm. So it's not only good on the ballot, it helps you raise money, too. But it's amazing how poor the Senate Republican can but, candidates but, are compared to the but, House candidates. The class. And, yeah. yet, and yet, and yet, no matter what happens on Election Day this year, it is not going to impact the views of Donald Trump, right? If the Senate stays in Democratic hands, even though every single one of those Senate, Republican Senate candidates was endorsed by Donald Trump, I do not think that that's going to make a reassessment right. of whether Donald Trump should be on the ballot in 2024. Even though in every other political uh, election we've ever, uh, we've ever covered, that actually has mattered. That actually matters. But with him, but it, it defies it. It yeah. didn't matter in 2021. didn't right. matter in 2022. Yeah. And this Amy has the last word. <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.